Here, let's try something. Okay, let's kill those means. Yeah, oh, there's it. Nose comes down. Bam. All right, good. Oh, hang on. Airspeed settings. Turn it to equivalent airspeed. Thank you. Pay attention where we're going. We're starting to swerve a little bit. And let's turn that RCS off. Well, it seems to be accelerating a lot better than the last one. Oh, guess what? We can raise a nose. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Look at this. Guess what? The vehicle is capable of a runway takeoff. Now that center mass is still pretty close to that center lift. It's still, it's, it, that can get us in trouble. Oh, and I never did turn the precision control on. Let's do that. That'll help. And we're, ooh, we're almost out of fuel. Okay. We don't have enough fuel to turn around and go land. <laughs> Whoops. However, the look at this gliding performance we're getting. Oh, pitch down. Okay, okay. Don't let it get too slow. Do too slow. Don't look at that gliding performance. Look at what we had just immediately before I screwed that up. Oh, I'm happy about this. This looks to me like this is going to glide okay. Revert that flight. Okay. I believe this relatively small change of adding some of these wing parts along the belly. It doesn't it really it doesn't look too ugly that way that this may have made this into a viable vehicle. Save it just to be extra certain. And let's let's go through it one more time. I really want to be done with this thing. I'm kind of tired of working on it and the this whole the, the entire system that I have of uh, doing this uh, these space shuttles has been working up towards the next the next vehicle. Enterprise C booster stack, which shall need now soon become the Enterprise D booster stack. Okay, this could be kind of problematic in that I've attached a whole bunch of wing parts to where this thing wants to go, but we can just attach it right up there. Save it, Enterprise D. Okay, let's go. This this one's this one's gonna work. This is the time that it's going to be done, and we will. it'll be good, it'll be all happy, we'll all have a party, and then we'll move on to the next shuttle, which is the one that I've been wanting to make for so long. Yeah, this, this one's just an intermediate, you know? <laughs> okay, let's launch it. Back with your fall and Limberry. Guys, the, so the previous Kerbinot core may have had some problems with the, the, few, the previous generations of this vehicle. You guys just put that out of your heads. Because it's gonna work, I tell you. Imagine we're not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, record this entire. Oh, wait a second. What's. Oh, I forgot to fix the staging for these damn things. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Revert. Okay, we fixed that. How long have I been playing this game and still can get caught by failing to check the staging? Alright, guys, let's go. What I was trying to say, starting to say, yeah, we're not going to record this whole launch. We've already seen how the launch works. We already know that the launch is going to work. So I'm probably we're just going to, uh, like, record some of it in case some. Well, I'll leave it recording in case something dramatic happens. But really, we want to come back when it's time for re-entry. Re-entry and glide, and we'll see how well that works. Okay, so here we are in orbit again. I went ahead and I took a little bit of time just to circularize the orbit because circular orbits make me happy and we're over that big crater yep so let me see here now let's go ahead and burn. let me see if let's try and burn retrograde at this point and try and set up for a re-entry i think this time i'm actually going to drop my periapsis down to let's say 30. We want to go for like maybe a faster deorbit and re-entry than we did last time. Right about there. Good. Okay, time compression. Let's go. Going for a re-entry, guys. It'll be a good time. Yeah, I guessed pretty close. Within like 20 degrees. All right, let's pitch up some. All right, airspeed settings. Change that to equivalent. 
Go ahead and hit that like there. That like there. Yeah, I just I did just say that. <laughs> Okay, more time compression. Until it's time to change its attitude and orientation and stuff. Yeah, Jerfall and Limberry are very, very calm. I've got to have a series of very calm Kerbals recently. I kind of like them. You know, it's, it's, you can get tired of the, the guys the, that are just, just absolutely freaking out and panicking all the time. Yeah, these guys are cool. Here we are already, using about a 40 degree nose up attitude. Just like the real shuttle, how about that, huh? And already our app lapses. says, let's slow down our time compression and take this opportunity, let's drop that nose. Oh, you can see how slowly we're descending. We're on the verge of starting to climb again. So, don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and turn RCS on. Help me out. Okay, and we'll ride it out for a while. Yeah, we're going to miss this one. Might land over in this ground over here, though. That'll work. So far, with, you know, with the thing that we changed, making with the addition of this more wing area, so far, this vehicle is acting, it has slightly better manners. It's, it's being easier to control. More predictable. I think I like it. Can I tell you a secret? I kind of miss the days when deadly re-entry was more deadly. Whenever things actually did burn up a lot. <laughs> if you weren't just super, super careful. These days, you can pretty much ignore the... Uh, the the overheat part of deadly reentry it's, you know, it's just the g forces that'll kill you and that's relatively easy to compensate for you know uh, it will say I am still having a slight tendency to it wants to wander in yaw the nose keeps pointing to the left and to the right I still don't know why it keeps doing that but it's doing it less than I saw previously. So that's, you know, it's it's not a horrible issue. Let's see if I can find an, ang an angle of attack that I can just leave the nose there. Not having to be pitching forward and pitching back all the time. But right about here. Uh, let's see, uh, the nose isn't staying there as we're getting to some thicker air, stronger Aerodynamic forces, got the re-entry effects going now, so fireworks, that's all nice and purdy. Definitely purdy. G-force is starting to pick up, but still less than 1G, approaching 1G. It's looking like the angle of attack that I want. I want the nose, say, like maybe just a little, like maybe... Between 10 and 15 degrees up. Whoops, hang on, Wait, hang on, hang on, what happened? Stop that. Turn that SAS on, let's get some control back. Why are we doing all these weird things? Behave yourself, airplane. Grave. That looks like there's some land over there. Dimly see it, barely see it. I'm going to go ahead and try to trim the yaw on this thing since it keeps on wanting to push that nose to the left. I'll try to trim it yaw to the right. Actually, let's try and go. Let's steer over here. See if we can reach this shore. Oh, no, 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 no. Calm, calm. Calm yourself, airplane. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, wrong. Okay. Why did we do this? Why? I was just trying to go for a nice, gentle turn. Now we're going flying tail first. Damn it. Point that nose, get that nose up. Point that nose where I want it. Let's kill all trim. And okay, we're definitely subsonic and flying tail first. Come on. Can we, I'm trying to rocket thing back and forth. 
Uh, let's try this. We've got a few seconds of fuel left. It was OMS. Come on, I need the nose pointed the other way. Oh, okay, come on. Right there, right there, right there, come on. And we're now we're out of fuel, but we're almost got our nose pointed in the right place. Come on, why are you doing this? You wretched airplane. Oh, this is irritating. Extremely irritating. I'm not even laughing. It's not even funny. I thought I had it. I want to be done with this vehicle. I am tired of working on this vehicle. I want to get move on to the next one. Uh, you know, I'm not going to... Uh, no, I'm irritated. I'm not even interested in seeing it crash. I'm going to revert to flight. I'll come back. We'll figure this out later. Yeah, okay. Okay, since I'm getting into a bad mood. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cease recording. We're going to think some more on this issue. Uh, I think really a lot of that was just poor piloting. It may not have been a design issue. That was poor piloting on my part. So we'll try and do... Maybe we'll do some off-screen recording, some practice, and come back to it. Yeah, that's my plan. But anyway... We'll come back. We'll talk to all you fine people later, hopefully with a functioning shuttle. Bye.